The Director General of National Council for Science, Technology and Innovation, Nakosti Moses Rugut, said Kenya's ability to overcome poverty, hunger, disease and homelessness hinges on investments in the applied sciences and vocational training. Rugut insisted on the need to develop Kenya's scientific capacity in order to achieve the president's Big Four agenda, which is well realigned with Vision 2030 and the Sustainable Development Goals. So they can combine both health priorities and agriculture. And agriculture. Because you know that without good food and without bad health yeah. and the like. So we would want to, they can now look on how to, or combine both manufacturing and affordable housing. But it must be within the vision of uh, 2030. On the other hand, an Akosti chairman, Professor Peter Ugada, said the commission, in conjunction with other stakeholders, is mandated to mobilize resources to fund research priorities. Today, the researchers, they are asking themselves very tough questions. And specifically, how do they ensure that the research that they undertake can add value and impact to the Wanjiko and Atieno down there. That cannot happen if we pursue the traditional way of doing research where researchers pursued their passion. While acknowledging the challenge of shortage of funds, the acting CEO of the National Research Fund, Jemima Ansari, said the government has set aside 100 million shillings to fund research. I would like to assure uh, you that uh, this is part of the Vision 2030. And therefore, there is an assurance that uh, the government is committed to fund these programs so that we can move or we can attain our ultimate goal as a country. Onsari says currently they are supporting 111 PhD students and 230 master's students with the research components while urging private donors to support young innovators in universities so as to impact the research priorities positively. Busara Naman for Ebru TV.